Am I poofing again? Whoa! You just poofed out of nowhere. <laughs> I felt the, the poop. I'm worried that you're going to also do another kind of poo, but guys, today <laughs> we are doing the Metalcore Battle Royale with Orion Reacts. What the hell are you doing in my reaction room? Man, I'm ready to fucking win right now. Guys, we are doing the Metalcore Challenge, Metalcore Battle Royale, trying to figure out who knows Metalcore music better. Who do you think is going to win? I think I'm going to destroy I, you. I think you're right. <laughs> I was so scared coming in here today, but I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Seriously, I'm just joking. I actually don't know. He probably has some sneaky questions, but what's at stake here? I'm taking a guitar pick. All right, guys, we're actually changing what's at stake. What's at stake is you have to boast about the other person. By boast, compliment the other person in one of your intro videos. So whoever loses in their next reaction video has to constantly compliment the other person in their intro. Sound fair? Fair. So the Metalcore Challenge with Orion Reacts. Round one, we're starting off easy, at least I am. So what is the name of the vocalist of Trivium? The answer is Matt Heafy. Oh shit! I would clap, but I'm, I'm clapping like a seal right now. What year did Metalcore begin? Was it 1987, 2002, or 1995? I didn't know there was an actual answer to this. Apparently there is. <laughs> 1995. Ding, 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 ding! <laughs> Who started Metalcore? There was a lot of unknown bands uh, that I did not know. I Shy Hulid? Yeah. Oh! Extra points already. <laughs> Round two. What year did Spirit Box form? Uh, I want to say 17. Is that your final answer? E yes. Wrong! <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> what was it? 2016. So close. I do have a spirit box one as well. What part of Canada is Courtney from? I hope this isn't a trick question, but Vancouver. That is correct. Can we get some bonus points oh! if you know what oh! city she's from? Vancouver Island? I, I don't know if that's a city. It's a city, isn't it? Vancouver Island? Wait, it's is, not it. Is Vancouver an entire island? No. Well, it's BC. No. <laughs> I've never been to BC. I don't know. Neither have I. <laughs> Then you don't know your time on either. <laughs> I think it's Victoria. Oh yeah, Victoria. I do that. Oh. Well, you did points that. for me. <laughs> <laughs> Round three. What music video by Loathe has 1.7 million views at the moment? Honestly, I don't know Loathe. He doesn't know Loathe? No, I'm probably gonna get kicked out after this. Two-way mirror. <laughs> yeah. What is the correct way to say Will from Lorna Shore, his last name? Ramos. Oh, nope. Ramos. Oh, psych. What one's your final answer? Ramos. It's not Ramos. It's Ramos. It's Ramos. We're going to have to do some double checking here. <laughs> Did I say that right or wrong? It's, it's Ramos, but Ramos. I say it's great. So. I blame it on the... I blame on the commenters because I used to call it Ramos until people oh. corrected me. Well, now they're corrected. Round four. How many studio albums does Bring Me the Horizon have? Oh my God, I had this one lined up too, and I don't remember. Uh, I was looking at this today. Studio, do EPs count? Keep putting no. your fingers up. <laughs> no. I'm going to say. Nine? Six. Oh, way off. What Kelly Clarkson song did a day to remember cover? I don't listen to them very much. The downfall of us all. No, that's one of their songs. That's not yeah, a cover. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I got him on this one. Since you've been gone. Since you've been gone! Charge! Metal wrong! <laughs> Round five. What's the name of the song by Every Time I Die that features Brandon Urie of Panic at the Disco? Mm, I didn't know he was on one of their tracks, to be honest. I do like Every Time I Die. Panic at the Disco, he's a big fan of them. I didn't know this. Did you know they broke up? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. So you better start a metalcore band. 100%. Yeah, he's done. With, with uh, Every Time I Die. Yeah, they were, 
Broken members. Is that what? You're here to hear first. Um, every time I disco. Oh. Every, oh. every disco oh. dies. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It remembers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! The band Silverstein. What city are they from? You can call a friend, ask the audience, or get fucked. Oh, Hamilton? Hamilton. Hamilton's the final answer. Final answer? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Burlington, Ontario. <laughs> Round six. What architect's music video has the most views? Oh, Doomsday. Which metalcore band is known for using the lyric ocean all the time? Ocean's Eight Alaska? I don't know. That's not. The Amity Affliction. I don't listen to that. Oh, Amity, no! Amity Affliction is post hardcore. <laughs> They're actually emo. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a fucking derivative of post hardcore. <laughs> Round seven. What is the name of the harsh vocalist from The Devil Wears Prada? Mm, I should know this. Why are you wheezing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his name. I really don't. And I love the Devil Wears Prada. I'm going to go with Dwayne. Dwayne? <laughs> That's what I got. Mike Franica. Is, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, speaking of first names, what is Chris Motionless's real name? Chris Motionless. <laughs> Three names. That's his middle name. Is motion. His motion. And then his yeah. last name is less. Yeah. It's not. What is it? It's like fucking Mick McFinn? <laughs> McCool? Is, no. is he Irish? Is he secretly Spanish? Is it like fucking Sanchez? <laughs> Chris Sanchez? No, he, he's giving me a German look. It's probably like Chris Schlagen. I don't know how to Thomas Cerulli? Cerulli? <laughs> yeah. Round eight. What city is Crystal Lake from? They're from Tokyo, Japan. Ding, ding, ding. That is a good one. See? Okay. What album was the album name before Bring Me the Horizon when they went more metalcore than deathcore? Count Your Blessings is when they were deathcore. Three albums. Suicide Season is like deathcore metalcore. There is a Hell is when they get more metalcore. So I'd say Suicide Season it still has deathcore elements. Yeah. I was going for the Count Your Blessing because oh, yeah, I feel that's like true. that was their most deathcore album. That's what the question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I'll give you that. Yeah. Words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> what album was Brave of the Rise and Heavy on? Round nine. Fill in the missing blank in this lyric. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Blank? On the whole fucking pizza? Pineapple? Uh, it's a tilla. <laughs> on the whole fucking Pineapple. Pizza. I gave you the answer already. I, I, I knew yeah, it. I knew it. But... Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Pineapple on the whole fucking pizza? Fucking pineapple! <laughs> For everyone to get crazy in the comments here, pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Yay! I agree. Speaking of which, we should order some pizza after this. Oh, with pineapple. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck you guys. Hit subscribe <laughs> <laughs> and that bell notification. What the Devil Wears Prada song was in Guitar Hero, and what edition of Guitar Hero was it? I didn't play Guitar Hero. I was a rock band person. Oh, really? Yeah, so I've seen your ghost. Fuck it. I don't know. Publishing nothing. I don't know. Assistant to the regional manager. HTML rules, dude. No. Dogs can grow beards all no. over. That would be sick. Des Moines. Ah! Ah! Round 10. So you were asking about Brave the Rise of Metalcore. So what year did Vela Maya become a metalcore band? Do I have options? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you options. Okay. 2014, 2015, 2016. Oh, it's 14. <laughs> 2015. Oh, I mean, they were really close together. <laughs> That's why I did it. I went for the lowest yeah. one. Back to Every Time I Die. What song was in Guitar Hero from Every Time I Die? This is why I didn't want to answer the other one. <laughs> Again, I didn't play Guitar Hero. I played real guitar, okay? Yeah. It's one of my favorite songs by them. Not that you would know this, but... <laughs> Werewolf. Werewolf? 
What is it? The black. He's cracking open the can. Yeah. Baby, you got me over. Round 11. How old is Howard Jones? 49, 51, 53. I think he's 51. Ding, 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 ding. Name seven core subgenres. Core subgenres? I can go on. Okay. Metalcore, deathcore, hardcore, prog, metalcore. There's. Uh, you can even go black and deathcore, new deathcore, new metalcore. You can go, you can just add anything. Progressive deathcore, melodic metalcore. That's not really a genre. Uh, metallic hardcore. There we go. Sure. That's pretty good. Oh, oh. All right. I got a, I got a good one for you. Okay. I got a gooder. What Christian metalcore slash post hardcore band under oath did Fat Mike, the lead singer of No Effects, like to make fun of during their Bible study back in 2006? I kind of want to stick with under oath. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Why did Tim from As I Lay Dying go to jail? <laughs> Am I allowed to ask? <laughs> yeah, but. Uh... You'd be living under a rock if you didn't know well, this. Well, like, I... Some people live under rocks. Look at Patrick. Patrick? <laughs> oh, I, I've never watched SpongeBob, man. I was a Simpsons guy. So you're living under a rock. I guess so. But I definitely know that he was trying to hire a hitman to kill his wife. Yes. Ding, 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 ding! Oh. Where did North Lane get their name from? Because they lived up north, bud. That's not my answer. Come on! That's a really good question. I really don't know. Are you ready to get your mind blown? Kind of. From the Architects album, Ruin. They no. had a song called North Lane. And they named it after that? Yeah, oh, they're Architects cool. fans. During a breakdown, what do you do? Do you A, mosh, B, throw down, or C, two-step? <laughs> There's no right. It depends on the fucking breakdown. It's true. <laughs> you can fucking two step. It depends on the rhythm. What the hell <laughs> kind of question is this? All right, I'm just going to simplify and say you mosh. Who's winning right now? <laughs> What's the answer? I mean, I would mosh. Yeah. Yeah. But you could also two step it if it. You could throw down too. Yeah. But I think the actual answer on the internet was throw down. Yeah. No, will you give me a point for that? Will oh, yeah, I'll give you a point. Okay. There, there was no wrong answer, really. This is his problem. He's asking questions where there's no <laughs> wrong answer. <laughs> or I can't read the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what band received controversial publicity from the Republican media for their song Goodnight Alt Right? I don't know. No? <laughs> I was going to say like anti-flag, but they're more punk. They're punk, yeah. Yeah. Because that's the, like, you got to die, got to die, got to die for your government. I really don't know. This okay. doesn't stop me. Straight from the path. Nazi punk fuck off! Okay. Give me, that's a gooder. Is metalcore music good or bad? <laughs> <laughs> Protest the hero, divine suicide of K. What are the lyrics in the song that all start with T words? It's treacherous that teamless tom totem poles get tired of no tired of tired taboos, something like that. Close. It's, <laughs> it's the right line. Yeah. Will you give me that? <laughs> I mean, uh, the fact that you remembered it was that line, I will definitely give it to you. Woo! But it's true that tackless teaming yeah. totem poles turn to tolerance to tired taboos. Fill in the missing lyric. Your blank don't fall. They crash around me. They crash around me. Come on, come on. Can I get a hint? Can I get a band? Your blank don't fall. They crash around me. <laughs> oh, it's tears. 
Yeah. Uh, Fucking bold for my Valentine. Two hundred twenty-one million uh, views. I did a reaction to this too, because yeah. I don't listen to them. Oh, this song is like one of the most classic metalcore I songs. I did. Not yeah, some songs just slip under the radar. I get that. A lot of them for me. Yeah, same. So. <laughs> Which metal singer won the Metal God Awards in 2006? Winston from Parkway Drive? No. I feel like the most popular metalcore singer was um, Howard Jones. No. But we did talk about him. I mean, we talked about a lot of him. Matt Heafy? Give me that with that man. You got it. What song by Avenged Sevenfold is the most played live? Backcountry? That's probably the only song I know by them. Final answer? Final answer. <laughs> that's a good, that's probably their second most played. Okay. Number one is Unholy Confessions. I don't know that one. What? <laughs> what? Okay, <laughs> now that is shocking. And she How well do you know thrice? <laughs> that, is <the> question. <laughs> that is the question. I don't know if they're all the original members, but can you name all the original members from thrice? My favorite band, lead vocalist, Dustin Kendrew. Guitarist Teppi Taranashi, oh. bassist Eddie Breckenridge, oh. and his older brother Riley Breckenridge. Older brother. Fuck. Oh, that's why they're so sick. It's the same band members since high school. Wow, still today? Still today. Yeah, they're that's sick. Commitment. That's commitment. So the point of all this is that Orion <laughs> lost. <laughs> he lost. That means I got this guitar pick, and that means in your next video. You get all the compliments. Yeah, you better boast the shit out of me. Butter you up. If I don't get 100,000 subs by the end of this month, <laughs> we're not friends anymore. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the video, but yeah, guys. How did you do? How did you do? Did you fail? Did you pass? Would you like to see more of this? Let us know in the comments down below. So comment down below, spice up my life, guys. Let us know if you want more content like this because Orion actually doesn't live too far away from me, weirdly enough. Half an hour drive. That's it? Yeah. Dude. Without traffic. Dude. Hey, if you want me to come down, I'll come down. I'll come down. We can do fucking hot dog eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, next next video idea. <laughs> Every time you get a wrong answer, you gotta throw a hot dog in your mouth and answer. Like, what's that marshmallow thing? Uh but with hot dogs? But with hot dogs. Dude, that, this is what we're doing. This is our lives. This is not the content that you want to see. You subscribe to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kind of down for that. So hot dog eating contest. You so. might be down for wieners in your mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Wieners and pineapple because I want fucking pizza with wieners and pineapple. Guys, that's enough fucking content. We're done. <laughs> it's time to go home. Yeah, it's time to go home. <laughs> but on that, favorite tune in. Until next time. Peace.